Namaskar. So how are you all doing? I hope good. And today I want to talk to you about your toothbrush. Yes, you heard me right. So off late I have received some questions on my Instagram and a few on my YouTube. And most of you have asked me about which toothbrush is better to use, the electric one or the manual one. And some of you have even asked me which toothbrush bristle is better to use. So firstly, you guys know so much already, so a big thumbs up to you. And secondly, a big, big thank you to all of you, as I really appreciate you people asking me questions and connecting with my videos. So, to begin with, this is an electric toothbrush and this is your normal, regular, manual toothbrush. So, if used correctly, that is with the correct brushing technique, the correct hand motions and the correct time, that is 2 minutes. It works sufficiently well and it cleans sufficiently fine. So, this is good enough if you are following these things properly. But if not, you need to go ahead and buy yourself an electric toothbrush. Also, for patients who are having problems with hand grasping, motor dexterity, they are having some neurological problems or other ailments for them, we always suggest an electric toothbrush. As all they need to do is switch it on, put it inside their mouth and move it around. And it does the rest. So for them, it would clean away much more better than the regular one. So if you are having such people at home, please go ahead and buy them an electric toothbrush. Also for kids who are not doing well with the regular ones, you can go ahead and buy them the electric toothbrushes. There are many types available for them. Some even have nursery rhymes in build. So it would be fun for them and it would clean better for you. It is up to you to decide. I have told you already. And uh, if you feel your regular is working fine enough, then good. If not, you can buy the electric one. I myself alternate between the two as I feel that the electric one sometimes seems better for me. So the choice is yours. Then the second question was which type of toothbrush bristles are better to use? So this part of your toothbrush is the bristle. So Generally, grossly, there are three types of toothbrush bristles. One is the soft one, the other is the medium, the third is the hard one. So, generally, the soft ones are the most recommended ones. The others are dependent on the patient's need. So, if you are having other needs, then you need to go see a dentist and he would examine your teeth, he would examine and talk to you about your brushing technique and then he can suggest you any other type of toothbrush. But generally, you can yourself go for a soft bristle toothbrush. So that is sufficient for you. Then coming to the toothbrush handles. So, there are different kinds of toothbrush handles also available. Some people prefer the longer handles as they feel they can reach their last tooth with it. Some say that the shorter ones are better as they can move it around easily in their mouth. Some feel that the thinner handles are better for the grasp. Some feel that the thicker are better to grasp. So that is upon your need. Whatever you feel is working better for you, you can choose among them. You can search Amazon for these as they have a list of different kinds of toothbrush handles. From there you can select the one which suits you better. Then coming to a very important part, then to change your toothbrush. So, it is recommended every 2-3 to three months you need to change your toothbrush. For the electric ones, it has got changeable heads, so you just need to change the head. But if you feel that your toothbrush is fraying, fraying means you see this, it has gone like this, the bristles. So, if this has happened even before 2 months, then you need to change it. Also, if this has happened before two months, this means you are not brushing properly, you are being too harsh on your tooth, you are being too forceful or you are following the wrong brushing technique. So, you need to check that up as well. Then, I would also say that if you have recovered from even a common cold and flu or you have recovered from a viral infection, then also please change your toothbrush. I would also say that after you have brushed, and your toothbrush is wet, please don't keep it inside your drawer. Let it dry out first and then you can store it. So this would be better. And lastly, I would say 
please never ever share a toothbrush with anybody no matter how much you love them but don't do this because everybody has a different flora and it is not at all healthy and advisable to do that so never do that that's it for this video in my next i would be talking about the correct brushing technique so stay tuned for it healthy and happy smiles to you all keep asking me questions i love answering them for you all lots of love stay happy stay healthy thank you bye